Hi everybody, welcome back to Nekoashi Japan. We've just returned from a trip for the end of summer and the river cleaning event with the local neighborhood association. So we'd like to talk to you today about that experience and also showcase some of the beautiful beaches around the area and a little bit of what we've been doing around the house too. In spring we attended the annual meeting where we paid our neighborhood association fees and uh, received the schedule of events for the upcoming year. Take a photo. The river cleaning event was an extremely important event on the calendar and highlighted by many of the neighbors so we're really happy that we were able to come back for that and assist. They actually brought it forward a couple of days so it was a Sunday morning started at seven o'clock only went for a couple of hours but um, those couple of hours in the summer heat were pretty intense. We drove around looking for our neighbors and eventually we did find them down in the riverbed where the grass was pretty overgrown. Down there. Uh, they've got metal blades. When we saw how much grass actually grows over the summertime, we were very happy that we could actually make it back and help out with this enormous job. You can see the scale of the grass cutting so that entire riverbed was cleared in a matter of a couple of hours, which is pretty impressive. So yeah, I wandered around with my uh, weed pulling tool and really wasn't being very useful, but I did come across um, some of my neighbors that were cleaning a shrine and some little roadside areas. So I helped them with that. You can see some of the grass in the river there. The grass is cut and just left in the riverbed. They don't seem to clear it out. <laughs> We're really grateful to our real estate agent, Yoneda san who's introduced us to a bunch of wonderful people around the town who have quickly become our friends. And we were so grateful for this amazing barbecue they put on for us at Dog Run Yu Cafe across the rice fields to welcome us back to town. Hi. Okay, let's try Tim Tams. <laughs> Australia Tim Tam time. Oh, Mulesan. Barbecue arigato gozaimasu. Oh. Hi, ball. Hi, ball. Hi, ball. Come by, come by. Something else I've been meaning to do is restore this old sign from the Saki Brewing days. This is the Yoshino no Haru sign from Saki and Soy Brewery business that was operating here. So We've been, oh look at that wood, amazing. So I'm going to just repaint the characters a little bit, just so they stand out a little bit more. And with these paints, and then we'll probably give it a varnish, I think. So let's see how this turns out. I was really happy with the way this sign turned out and that'll be hung in the Genkan pretty soon. We also stumbled across a number of treasures that we hadn't realized were in this old chest of drawers. And I'm just going to give you a sneak preview here because we found so many interesting things. I'm going to have to put an entire video together just on that. Summertime in Japan is extremely hot 
We had days mainly in the 30s, the low 30s, and very high humidity for the entire trip. And we were there in September. It wasn't even officially summer. But we're really lucky because we live close to the coast and up and down the coast, either down into Yamaguchi or within our own prefecture, Shimane, there are just some stunning beaches and coastline. That's pretty nice. Ah, oh, it's just so stunning. It's like, it could be like in Okinawa or something. Aqua water. Oh. And that really inspired us to go and grab uh, some goggles and snorkel and just see what we could see in our local beach at the Suchita coast. So we jumped in the water and we were pretty surprised. The clarity was very good, especially it was so close to the beach. So the last coastline adventure that I want to show you today is the surfing. There's a number of pretty good surf beaches up and down the coast of Shimane. Kokufu Beach in Hamada is one of them. We went to Revolution Surfers Base Shop in Hamada and I got myself a boogie board. Jason bought this surfboard over from Australia and we decided to give it a go. There were quite a few people surfing, but the waves weren't really big enough to surf properly. But the water temperature was perfect. Any excuse to get into the water was fine by us. Too full here. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. We will be releasing a video very soon about all the incredible old documents and interesting things that we found in that chest of drawers, mostly 100 and 200 year old artifacts and we'll see you later thanks for watching bye